हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड आई एम ऑल्सो गुड ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट माई इंटरव्यू लाइक येस्टरडे ओनली आई रिसीव अ कॉल फ्रॉम माई प्रोजेक्ट पी ओ सी एंड इट वॉज एन इंटरव्यू एंड सिमिलर लाइक बी यू बट now i'm going to tell you everything in very detail whatever he asked to me and how i answered to him so i am going to tell you everything so you make sure that you have to stay connected with me till the end of the video and i'm thinking if it will it won't take so much of time so i will combine my experience of my bu as well in this video but if it will take uh, so much of time and so i don't uh, want to uh, take it like uh, uh, stretch it so, uh, so that video can be so much lengthy so let's see okay so first i received a call and uh, then he uh, asked me uh, like uh, first of all he introduced himself uh, uh, like uh, hi nakhat am i calling to nakhat uh, then i asked yeah i am nakhat here so he told me okay so he introduced himself and uh, uh, he has uh, told me like um, i'm from this and i'm uh, talking to you regarding your project aig there is an opening and uh, and uh, an artificial intelligence and say ig and uh, i got your profile so i have to check it uh, of everyone one by one so on that purpose i have called you so can i have your time for that i said you obviously you can so first question he asked me um, uh, like uh, what is your base location so uh, i said um, which location you are uh, um, i mean willing to know um Uh, like uh, i'm where i'm staying or my work location then he asked me no your work location so i said uh, my work location is kolkata then he told me okay and uh, then he asked me uh, like uh, when did you complete your training so i told like i have completed my training on 22nd of june uh this year only obviously and uh, then he told me okay then he asked me like uh, what is your strong area um throughout your training period whatever you have learned so i said um like obviously jcl is my strong area and that is in, because that is a very easy in comparison to all areas i'm saying to you i said to him like jcl and vzam i'm very strong in that but um i think i'm good in all the areas like i have learned um along with jcl and vzam i have learned cobol db2 also so in all that then he said okay so i am going to ask you one question um, ba very basic question of cobol let's start from basics and uh, so don't panic okay so i said no no it's okay you can ask then he told me uh, okay then tell me uh, no then he asked me ke like have you done any programming on cobol like have you written any code so i said yes i have done programming like um, during my training time when we were to uh, have to do hands on uh, and all then at that time i have done that then he asked me what kind of programming you have done uh, in cobol so i said uh, it really depends on the questions requirement mm. there are like simple cobol program also i have done that then the arithmetic operators operations like what we need to perform there according to the need of the program so i have done that and uh, then cobol db2 combined program embedded sql so etc these kind of kinds of programs i have done of cobol then he asked me like okay so now tell me what are all the divisions uh, we need to um, we need to write in a cobol program so i said okay there are basically four divisions and like um, uh, identification division then environment division data division and then the last most important procedure division then he said okay so what is the use of data division like why we need to define data division then i said data division is basically used for declaring the variable so we have to define uh, variable under working storage section in data division and that variable we gonna use in a procedure division okay and uh, also there can be linkage section also 
and the linkage section in linkage section we have to define the variables of our sub programs um, and all because uh, further uh, if we have to do any uh, sub program main program this kind of thing so in on that purpose uh, we can do that so that is the use of data division for declaring the variables then he said okay and uh, then he asked me uh, like uh, yeah how can you identify uh, like uh, what uh, how can you identify that which is a cobol simple program and which is a cobol uh, db2 program so i said i can identify if the if in a program if exec statement is mentioned so that is a uh, I like kind of embedded sql and that so it means that is a cobol db2 program and if that is not mentioned then it means that is a cobol simple program then he said okay and uh, then he asked me uh, uh, like uh, can you tell me the details like uh, uh, if you have done db2 program also so can you tell me the details what you need to, to do in your cobol db2 program so honestly i am not very much uh, strong uh, in that but still i answered i said okay uh, firstly to according to need um, i will uh, declare uh, like all the divisions and all in the cobol like we need to uh, write in the cobol program so i will do that and then if suppose if i need to uh, make any database or if i need to create a table and all so with the help of spoofy i will create a table and database then i will define in the program also i'll declare that so like this we can do that Uh, so he said okay and uh, then he asked me okay do you know about cursor what is cursor why we use cursor i said yes i know about cursor and uh, cursor we in, uh, then in answer i said um, uh, we use cursor when we have to fetch more than one records at a same time for example if i have created a database of student and i have to fetch the records of name so there can like if i have to uh, fetch the records of name and i want to fetch the records of nakhat name like my name so there can be more than one person are have can be can having same name right so how system will uniquely identify to which person i'm talking about i'm i'm going to fetch so person won't recognize it uniquely so um, on that purpose we use cursor command so that we can fetch the records multiple rows at a same time so we use cursor then he said okay very good i'm happy with you, uh, this answer and can you tell me the what are the steps involved in it like how can you uh, fetch cursor so i said yes uh, first of all we have to uh, declare the cursor and then we have to open the cursor with the cursor name obviously and then we have to fetch with the fetch command uh, the cursor like which records we are going to fetch and then uh, close the cursor so so four steps are involved in that for uh, fetching the records with the help of cursor so he said okay good and then he asked me uh, about like uh, Uh, have you done programming on vzam files have you do have you done that i said yes i have so he asked me what are the vzam files available uh, so i said there are uh, again four vzam files um ks ks ds key sequential data sets and then esds elementary sequential data set lds uh, linear data set and rrds relative record data set these are uh, the vzam files which are available and i have worked on that then he asked me okay then, then tell me what is uh, esds um, so i said okay this is uh, an elementary sequential data set vzam files and uh, while creating a cluster of um, like uh, esds we don't need to specify keys and also we don't uh, we have to write non index whereas if we have to define any cluster of um, like ksds so there we have to specify keys and also index so that is the main difference and um, uh, that's it then he told me okay and uh, Uh, yeah he asked me in the mid uh, like uh, uh, do you know what is minus 811 sql code have you 
come across the, uh, this so uh, honestly um, i was not knowing the exact uh, you know the reason why do we get minus 8 11 and i'm still i didn't search even yet about this i forgot to you know, search it i mean uh, i'm just uh, saying whatever i have answered i will ping uh, i'm in the comments and uh, i'll ping that so uh, what like i like i will pin that comments like what is the uh, answer of minus 8 11 because i'm i am i am unable to recall it right now but i have come across that because there are so many sql codes you can get uh, like plus one double zero for uh, when you will have at the end of the record and you no know more and records are left so in that time you can get plus one double zero and so likewise there are so many sql codes so you make sure that you go through all the sql codes uh, they might ask you because uh, from sql codes uh, question has asked to me i mean interviewer has asked uh, questions re related to spl codes to me in the bu also so that's why i'm telling you this and then he asked me like what is sock 7 and how can you remove that so sock 7 i told uh, like whenever there is a mismatch of data and uh, if i have entered any invalid data so in that purpose uh, we got a uh, sock 7 append like job will ends abnormally job will terminate so we got a sock 7 so to remove that we have to give uh, correct input like uh, for example if i have declared the variable of uh, numeric there are three types so in, in cobol numeric alphanumeric and alphabetic okay so if i have declared uh, numeric variable and uh, in the uh, and uh, i am moving uh, the values in that variable of alphabetic so it won't work right so that in that case it will give a sock 7 event so that is called sock 7 so i said that and then in last he asked me uh, like uh, yeah what is condition code in jcl and uh, when we use that so i have said okay condition codes uh, in jcl like uh, it is a step based conditional checking parameters um, and uh, i mean conditional parameters he asked me not code so i said and uh, uh, like it will check of the previous step uh, there can be so many uh, types of writing condition codes like with the quant parameter c o n d equals only or c o n d quant equals even or sometimes uh, we can write c o n d quant equals uh, the operator i am sorry sorry first of all you have to write the return code r c okay of the previous step or return code and comma then uh, the operators like uh, operators can be greater than less than equal to uh, less than equal to uh, this kind uh, etc uh, so that operators and then comma and then the step name of which step you are going to check right so it works according to that for example if i have if i am i have written like um con equals uh, four like four i am uh, talking about the return code so it will check the previous step that uh, that return code of that previous step is four or not if the condition is true means uh, like operators and all i will give so if condition is true so the this step is not going to work if condition is true then this step will bypass it will not execute if condition is false then step will be executed and the program will work for that step it will check the previous step so that's why it is called as step based conditional checking parameters and if i will write condition equals cond equals old or uh, i mean sorry only so only means it will check the previous step and if and only if the previous step has appended abnormally then it won't uh, execute the next step and if uh, condition equals even so it will really not uh, sorry i was having call so it will really not uh, matter like on uh, whatever uh, can return code uh, we get from in the previous step it will work uh, like it will execute anyhow that's why it is known as con equals uh, even okay so that's all about the uh, conditional parameters and uh, 
a very long time ago i have studied all this so i have just told my verbally and uh, like uh, what can i say i haven't uh, revised and prepared for this uh, for that interview like i got a call yesterday and i wasn't ready when you know i was eating that time and i received a call i thought uh, it, this is an unknown number so let's check who is this so i call uh, then it was an interview so i couldn't deny or delay so i have to take it and it was all good and in the last uh, he told me like uh, i'm good i'm good with your answer and happy so i'll share my feedback to the to our senior manager and then we will get back to you and so i said thank you i am sure uh, you can share feedback so uh, he told me yeah thank you thanks for your time i have a good day we both greeted each other and then call was cut so it was all about my interview after the bu interview it was an interview for the project allocation like i got it in project i got project allocation mail and i have told you right uh, you will be getting uh, um, interviews you will be having so you need to answer you need to perform well so that you can get uh, into a project smoothly without any problems so that was all about uh, my interview uh, with my project poc senior manager and yeah in the next video i will um, i will make a video of my bu interview what type of questions were asked to me in my bu interview and in that also i will explain with my answers whatever i have said okay obviously correct answer only i will say if i will not know so i will say i won't know like in minus 811 11, i am unable to recall it right now i will uh, ping in the comments and i will pin that so don't worry about that and i am suggesting you just revise the uh, whatever you have learnt in your throughout your training period and go through with the sql codes file status codes also uh, they can ask you in visa and files also like this question was asked to me in the in my bu so that's why i remember it uh, what kind of file status code you can get in uh, during creating a visa and files and uh, yeah the, so related to that i'll make a separate video of my bu interview also so this was all about my you know, experience of interview it depends on your uh, like uh, what kind of questions you are getting so it it doesn't mean if i am getting this question so you will also get this no it it different it may differ but obviously you may get some idea like uh, yeah it was not that much of tough you can relate and uh, if you are knowing basics you can answer it i means your concept should clear so that you can answer with the real uh, life example so that they will impress ke, yeah you have knowledge you don't have to answer uh, like a robot you have to answer it properly if your concept will clear so you will be ans- uh, able to answer so that's all about this video we will meet in the next video and till then take care allah is yes one more important thing please don't please don't forget to subscribe my channel i'm getting views i'm getting comments i'm getting a very good good comments and i'm really feeling very happy like it was a kind of dream for me i really didn't know that my channel will get monetized and I, like i will be a youtuber one day i really didn't know i have just made my channel for i think um like i feel good to share my experience and all and also honestly if i say like i feel uh, like uh, i wanted to uh, i mean to interact with people so that my communication will improve so that's the reason i made the, uh, i started making videos and all and also when uh, uh, like when i was uh, i had applied just and uh, during the pre join formalities bgvs so many processes and formalities were there right you must be knowing you are going through with that so there were so many doubts i was having and i wasn't able to get a proper channel or video so that anybody can tell me like how to do and how to fulfill the all these things so that time i uh, realized i will surely make a video related to that and i will um, help people like me who are uh, willing to know these things so that is also a, a very big reason to make a channel and uh, share my uh, thoughts and all so if i am getting a good com- uh, feedback so that's the reason i'm continuing this so please subscribe to my channel so that i can feel uh, encouragement and i'll uh, really 
uh, make such videos for you guys uh, in future also and whatever updates i will be getting from cognizant in coming days also i will share you all and in, uh, meanwhile if you are having any doubts related to that uh, feel free to ask me i am available as always i'll make sure to reply you as soon as possible thank you